couple weeks ago, I got a call from Chris in Connecticut about Alterix, and the symbol there is AYX. It's the provider of self-service data analytics software. Basically, they're all about simplifying the data analytics process, making it more accessible to you. I recommended the stock back at the end of March, shortly after it came public. Since then, it's given us a monster 65% gain. But even in the wake of that remarkable move, I told Chris to let the position run. I just hear nothing but great things about this company. Well, word got back to Alderix, and they asked to come on the show. What can I say? We're all ears, especially when a company's given us such phenomenal gains. So let's check in with Dean Stoker. He's the co-founder, chairman, and CEO of Alderix to learn more about his company as prospects. Mr. Stoker, welcome to Mad Money. Good to see you, sir. Honored that you're here. Thanks for having me. All right, Dean, let me just uh, – there's a phrase that you used, and I thought it was so exciting. Code-free analytics – for the citizen data scientist. Correct. I love that. Well, our platform is code free for the citizen data scientist and code friendly for the quants around the world. So we deal with both audiences in a significant way. Now you deal with everyone. I have never seen anyone be as agnostic as you. Why is everyone willing to work with you and other guys don't say, hey, you're with Salesforce, I'm not touching you. Well, we're agnostic to the persistence layers at okay. the beginning of the, the right. analytic journey. And we're agnostic to the consumption layers in analytics at the end of the journey. So almost all of the data vendors love the fact that they can ingest or that we can ingest data into the Alteryx in-memory platform and that we can push out analytics into almost any pane of glass, whether it's Tableau dashboards or Power BI or PDFs or uh, machine learning models back onto Salesforce.com. Well, let's go back to this Tableau data. The first thing with our breed, I say, well, wait a second. Tableau Data does the same thing. No, they're your partner. They are our partner, a great partner and a customer. In fact, one of the great things about Tableau is many customers love that experience of being yeah. in visual dashboards, but there are way more panes of glass than visual uh, uh, reporting. And so the majority of our customers actually write out to other panes of glass, out to okay. SharePoint, into PDFs, right. into Word documents. Well, you've got an incredible client list, and I, I mean, I could, you, you've announced these, so it's not a secret, but J.P. Morgan, Ford, Walmart, Target, Coca-Cola, J&J. What would you be doing for one of these? Let's say I'm at J&J, which is a company we absolutely love. We have Alex Gorski on. What would I want to see from Alteryx? Well, we cover off on a very broad swath of analytic use cases within an enterprise. First of all, it's a horizontal platform, so we, we have no concentration really in any vertical uh, around the world. Okay, very important. But most importantly, the footprint of, of analysts or citizen data scientists in the enterprises is very broad across almost every use case from HR to, to supply chain to omni-channel analytics, uh, sales ops, uh, FP&A. We have not yet seen a, a flattening of our S-curve in our, in our net retention numbers. Okay. And that's because we see 30 million citizen data scientists around the world who want, want to get their lives back. Well, one of the things that I, I mean, you have, and I, I, sometimes these numbers just glaze over people. I won't let this one. 52% growth, but you're not a new company. You've been around. We have been around. <clears throat> we were not uh, one of those overnight successes. What? Um, we didn't actually raise any money for 14 years. We were self-funded for 14 years, uh, based out of Irvine, California. The, uh, the thought of risking uh, our founders' uh, money was tough enough. The, the thought of risking investors' money was untenable. So we went as long as we could to get to the point where the self-service data analytics market opened up as wide as it possibly could, and we decided to raise $163 million in three rounds over four years and then took the company public uh, March of this year. Well, we loved it immediately, but one of the things that we were really gripped with was the, the total addressable market versus the market cap. It's too small versus what you can accomplish. Well, this is a $28 billion addressable market. Yeah. It, it is a massive market. It's grown every year for the last four years. Uh, I think that people are realizing that we're, we're living in this, this data deluge and they're trying to get value in analytics out, out of that data. And uh, our platform is the, the platform that it allows people to prosecute analytics and turn every data worker into a discoverer of marginal profitability well, for the I, enterprise. I think you also have to highlight for us, because people don't get this, how long it took before and how long it takes now with you. Yeah, so the analytic process in, in enterprises has been completely broken. Um, Think about where the context around a business question exists. Right, okay. uh, how do I optimize my retail shelf set to improve same store sales? Okay. How do I mitigate churn in my wireless contracting business? Right. How do I eliminate risk in my underwriting practice? 
what, what has happened without Alteryx is people go to IT and they have to stand up teams of ETL experts and data munging experts right, right. And, and analytic experts, all with dis disparate tools and technologies. And in six months after a statement of work, a requirements document, a technical specification and waterfall development, you finally get the answer to the question that you forgot why you asked. And so what we've done is we've put the thrill back into problem solving. We, we've, we've taken these analysts who have resorted to uh, spreadsheet hell and, and we've, we've, uh, we've, we've made it so that we've gone from the end of their rope to the edge of their seat right. so that they, they could actually drive value for enterprises oh, around the okay, world. Okay, so when I was going, when I was at Goldman, when I was a hedge fund manager, we just looked at Excel and we did these, uh, that's not enough anymore, right? No, we're living in a, in a big data world where our customers see, are seeing billions of rows across disparate data right. sources and, and Excel, what's it got, a million row uh, right. limit. <laughs> right. And people are living in complex V lookups and if they can get over the metaphor shift of rows and columns and embedded yeah. formulas to a drag and drop user interface, it's all over with. Well, and that's why we see such expansion in our business. I am so glad you're on. Ever since I recommended you, I have hedge fund managers say, how do you know how you I said, no, it's too cheap. It's too cheap as a market cap. Now people might say, well, what, not make money, but it's the market cap that matters to me versus the opportunity opportunity. You're way too low. That's Dean Stoker, chairman and CEO of Alteryx. You've got to look into this company. It's got all the things that we like on Mad Money. We're back after the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.